Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do grayscale from the Game of Thrones. Now this is a highly contagious disease that is in the TV show. So I really wanted to do it as a special effect because I thought it was so awesome. So first of all, I'm just starting out by creating a scale pattern in the clay. I've made sure that the pattern is really uneven and not perfect. So some scales are really deeply dug in and there's others that are really light and they're all different shapes. So now I'm creating a wall so that I can pour latex onto the scale print that I've made. And now I'm pinning it off and using powder so the latex doesn't get sticky and stick together. Now I'm going to be putting on some petroleum jelly just so the latex doesn't pull all the hairs out when we peel it off after. And I'm going to go in with some latex just to stick the prosthetic down. And I also put some latex on the back of the prosthetic too because I really want to make sure it stays there so that I can paint it and it doesn't move around. So I decided to do the arm because it's an easy area to access to do the work and to film and it's as if they've been touched on the arm, like grabbed and infected. So I'm just going around the edge with latex and then some kitchen roll just to blend it with the skin a bit more so that it's more blended and seamless. The kitchen roll also adds more texture as well. And I'm just going over the kitchen roll and a tiny bit onto the prosthetic with a foundation stick that sort of matches the skin tone. I want it to be really blended so the infection looks like it's slowly spreading down his arm. And then I'm going to go over with a grey wash. This has lots of water in it so it's not very pigmented. And then go in with a darker grey, just building up the base slowly. Now I'm flicking on some yellow because there is pus under. Gross, I know, but it's true. <laughs> when they take the grey scale off, there's a lot of pus and blood. So I just wanted to add a bit of a yellow tone to it as well. And then now I'm just going over with an eyeliner brush with a black colour over the top of the texture of the scales just to make them more defined and stand out more. It looks really gross. So now I'm going over with some red and then rubbing it out a bit more and adding more grey on top. This is just to create more of an irritant on the skin because obviously it's spreading, it is going to be painful so there will be irritation to the skin. And this is the final look. If you want to see more photos head on over to my Instagram and I'll post them over there. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.